Welcome back to the action here at the Bob and Tom Show. Let's see who's where. That's uh, Christy Lee over there at the news desk. Comedian Drew Hi. Hastings is in the studio with us. Right now we're playing that great preteen board game, Mystery Days. <laughs> yeah! I now. loved that when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> here's, the, here's the setup. Day. Now we're pretending that uh, Christy... And Drew have never met. Okay. And they've met on the internet, and they're going on a date. Now, we've established a couple things. Have I seen his picture? Things. Well, I would think you, so. You have your picture on the internet, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I would think you would exchange pictures before you said yes. No, okay. but one of the things you can't tell from a photograph is that Drew is 6'6", six, six, you are 5, five feet. feet. Yeah. So well, there's that's that. That's an but interesting yes. scenario so now, right In there. the world of online dating, we refer to Christy as a spinner. spinner. Yeah. Now, <laughs> but now, in, 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 in his bio... Do I put Drew that in has, my online profile? I would. <laughs> hey, I recommend being on... You're going to have to be on top. Uh-huh. Uh, that's all there is to it. He might you're getting way ahead. Sorry. I am you. not having sex with him on the first there date. There you go. You've got to wait till three. Will you sit and have dinner first and could let we, me talk? Could, could, we get my could, we, could we go back a bit ways? You don't know that you're not going to sleep with magic. me yet. That's yeah. exactly right. <laughs> right. He may put something in your drink. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No. That wouldn't surprise me. Editor's <laughs> note, Drew has his look on, if uh-huh. you know what I mean. I see, now look at him. He's <laughs> oh, yeah. staring her Leaning down. Oh, yeah. I'm embarrassed. So, I should, okay. should I go put makeup on so, at the break? Uh, you, have you, know finally... you look perfect just the way you are. Sit hey, down. Hey, it's hey, time hey, to get a salad. You're not, you haven't even sat down at the table yet. Hold on. You guys okay. have okay. just gotten to the restaurant. Now, so Drew Drew Wait, shows did, up. What kind of car are you driving? Did you pick the restaurant? You can't ask questions yet. What kind of car are you I'm driving my kind of a rather used older Jaguar, but I washed it. Okay, that's good. Nice. <laughs> so you're driving an older Jaguar sedan? Mm-hmm. Clean. Uh-huh. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. It's now, clean, yes. Christy, yes. Uh, what kind of car are you going to drive? I would probably take my little convertible, but oh, I would oh, wash it. Okay. Very sport. Oh, so, yes. See, this is nice. You're both Sporty. washing your cars yes. to, okay. to put on And the... I've scrubbed my genitals. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, I think that goes without uh, saying. Okay. Sure. After, right. after you finish. Do you have, do you do you have a them? group of Mexicans that dry it for you when you're done? <laughs> no, do, you, uh, do you have to pumice those as well? No, no, okay, no. I'm I'm sorry. I've enough. been around, but I haven't calloused them. <laughs> no, let's, let's I back up. I think you'd be impressed that I drive a nice little Mercedes, right? Yes. That's good. I see you pull up on the lot. Yeah. Yes. yeah, that shouts out high maintenance and lots of expectations, oh, but that's yeah. fine. Yeah, sure. yeah. Now <laughs> we have to uh, back up a little bit. Christy raised it myself. Christy right. raised right. Christy raised a good question. Um, now the restaurant, you have to decide. Now you're going to be going back and forth on the internet deciding on a restaurant. Christy, I, I think you'll uh, probably take charge here. What kind of restaurant? Are you Let's gonna say there go are about to? four restaurants in front of us in a in a nice strip mall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and my first comment is, you know, the steaks at Applebee's are pretty good. And you would reply you by saying, steak, right? I would go, uh, I don't eat steak. No, I wouldldn't say that. I'd go, all right, Applebee's is fine. You would. I'd I thought be I, I, No, we don't have to eat there be just because I suggested it. And wouldn't you want to go to some fancy is a fine restaurant? We can go over here. Wouldn't you want to go, here, go to some uh, some some like steak little, joint? Here's an upscale uh noodle place that does nothing but <laughs> noodles. And here's a place I where they just pasta. stick a tube in the side of your neck and inject uh, food into it. Drew, I don't think you want to take her out on a date. To a place you have to stand in line to get your food. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put a little placard on your tray, pack yeah. the table. Nice. York yep. Steakhouse. Table 48. No, you're right. I okay. see this at maybe a sushi bar. Or okay. A, a sushi bar. Or a sushi bar, but we'll take a table near the bar because I like to be able to sit and face you. That's it. fine. Okay. Uh, that's okay. Now, so Okay, so you're at a sushi bar. Um, yeah. no. Sushi restaurant. What are you wearing? This is your first date. You're going to a sushi bar. nothing. Christy, what are you going to put on? Something uh, like Something a dress? Something very similar like what I'm wearing Dress now. or pants? Probably a sundress if it's summer, yes. I guess it depends on what time of year they're yeah, going out. This time of year, I'd wear a sundress or a skirt. Okay. No, uh, uh, Drew Hastings, would you, you, you're you always dressed up. Well, I'm not flip-flops. always dressed, but I'm going to I'm gonna have a suit, open shirt, you know. Even on your now, first date. Do you wear underwear? Uh, well, will there what? be under? Will there be yes, underwear? I wear underwear. I don't what? think that's important on the first date, is it? I wear underwear. I don't know what kind of first date you go on, but I <laughs> always wear underwear. What kind? I mean, do you, are you going to know wear... what kind of Why underwear? Why is it they're... important to know what kind of underwear he's wearing? Oh. Because if he comes back from the bathroom and his flies down, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just curious. I see anything you like? I tend to wear uh, <laughs> I tend to wear white briefs <laughs> with splotches yes. of yellow in the front. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have the I have the same underwear. <laughs> you can buy them in a three pack. Yeah. <laughs> those are those are classy. Now, do you do now a that jig? Totally does, surprises do you, me. Do you? Uh, no, no, do not you always. While you're first, uh, while uh, you're yes, first I am uh, oftentimes, but but because I'm that sexually confident that once we're at a point, you're going to see my underwear. That's not even in your head. <laughs> <laughs> No, not not on the I'm first surprised day. you wear white underwear. Me too. That's yeah, I don't saying. always wear them. I've tried have, colors, but uh, pardon. What do you have on right now? 
I have white ones on. Uh, briefs or boxers? Briefs. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I wear boxers at now, times, but I find that, they bunch up. Because a lot of times a, I change clothes a lot. I might change clothes out in the car and put a pair of Lee jeans on, which tend to run tight. <laughs> then the boxers come up and bunch up. Why Why is that a... Shouldn't we be talking about underwear on the third day? Yeah, why, why is we, that a negative? You know, right now, we, I, why are white briefs a negative? Yeah. They just, oh, no. I know they are. I just don't... I don't know. Well, it's because just, they're supposedly you go with these, sexy. They're not sexy. No, they, well, they, they look like... They look well, like that's a G-string. Uh, yeah. They look like oh, you no, haven't changed underwear since kindergarten. Yeah, that's like why. your mom's still buying your underwear. Mm-hmm. You. Okay, mm-hmm. well, let's back up here. Now, so Bob do you... doesn't wear tidy When you first sit down... So we're at the date. When you first sit down, do you do a chick does? You do a couple of stick figures having some kind of wild intercourse and say yeah. this is you and me later <laughs> right no <laughs> what i like to do is oh, nice. first yeah. thing i do is i sit down and i say will you hand me the little thing with the golf tees so i can play that game <laughs> not a cracker barrel i'm not playing the peg game yeah. oh yeah no you i'm sorry so, okay so now here's We're not a cracker uh, okay barrel. wait a minute so okay. you've decided <laughs> don't you ever diss cracker oh, barrel i, love cracker I like barrel. to draw this picture and say <laughs> if on we a nap- spend the night is, on a napkin if this we spend the night you can rest assured we're at cracker barrel all right, next morning. That's a chick, chick has just drawn an obscene picture, and he, you say to her, This is you and me this later. This is you and me later. <laughs> and wow. I, I yeah, was... like she's going to get that much of it in her mouth. Anyway, the point is, we're not even that far. Let's stop the date. Excuse me. Could we stop now? We have to uh, slow oh down. My God, I, I, can we get a salad order in? <laughs> now, <laughs> who runs this godforsaken place? Oh, now, once again, once again, now. What so, kind of girl do you think? Excuse I am me. So, Christy, Christy. Day. Hey, waiter. Well, you based know on that star. picture. <laughs> <laughs> now, let, let, so. You should be yelling at your waiter, hadn't even come to your table yet. <laughs> Wait a second. So, so you arrive first, Drew. So, you, do you say, we're, I'll meet you in the bar? How would you set it up? Uh, yeah, I'll meet you at the bar, and I've already arranged to have a table. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you walk, and then she walks in, and, and you know I what say, she looks like from her picture. And I say, Hello, Betty. <laughs> Uh-huh. Now, do you shake hands with her? Or do you no, her I don't on the shake cheek? hands. No, no he no. says hello, Betty, not because no. that's, that's a come on That's line, an acknowledgement of uh, neo-feminism. And, no, but, you know, why don't I no, just call her Ms. A, uh, a, you know. light, a light hug and hello? No, I right? probably wouldn't even do that. No? Because, no, I wasn't breastfed, and I'm learned, <laughs> I'm, I'm repressed and cold at the you outset. You, know, you I like see. your space. Yes, I like my no space. Handshake? And plus, I haven't earned the right to touch you yet. That's no, true. Not even a handshake? No, I don't believe. That's like going over to somebody's house, and because both of you have long hair... The guy who comes over to your house can get in your refrigerator. Hey, let's see what you got in here. No, just because we both have long hair, you're not my friend. You know, it's the I, same I, thing. You don't I, just, I don't get the analogy. Well, I, it's touching somebody. You have to earn the right. It's assumed familiarity. No, but when you first meet someone, you, you, you're just supposed to shake hands. Right? I, yeah, well, you've been to France too many times, going back and forth each side of the cheek. In France, you kiss. Yeah. I, well, let's we'll we'll stop the date. We'll come back and revisit we this. We haven't gotten very far. No, you haven't. Haven't even gotten out of the bar yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I. I, I What's you have, your policy toward figuring? Uh, well, <laughs> we, you, uh, have to, we have to take a break now. Yeah, we're going to take a break, me. and we uh, have to again. tie tie Chick up and uh, beat him with a club. When we come back, we'll find out more. <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show.